Hello everybody, Susan here from the Bluemix team. What I would like to do today is show you how to deploy an application into Bluemix using only the command line interface. If you're already familiar with Bluemix at this point, you know that we have a nice GUI set up on our website bluemix.net that you can use to create different services, to mon monitor your dashboards and everything like that. But sometimes, I mean, if you're a techie at heart like I am, you just prefer the black and white of the command line. So I'm just going to show you how to deploy a simple application in this case using only the command line and not using the GUI at all. So, of course, to get started, we're going to need to start up our command line. And the first thing we have to do is, of course, log in to get Bluemix. At this point, I have my API already set up. And then I'm just going to log in with my Bluemix credentials, in this case, my IBM ID. Uh, I have multiple organizations and spaces in my account. That's why I'm going to have to do a little pre-selecting first. And this application in specific, I'm going to deploy in my demo space. And now I'm all logged into the correct place where I want to deploy my application. So everything that we're doing is, of course, well documented by CF help as well. So if you ever have any questions about what commands you can use, and what is all possible within the command line interface here, you have a very good setup of all the possible commands. I've just copy pasted those into a little notepad so I can have them here as a little sheet sheet should I need them at some point. So, but the application that I want to deploy, I have that here is a very simple to-do list written in Node.js. As you can see, I have my manifest file here, so we can see what we're going to do. We're going to name the application SH to-do list 11. Uh, I'm setting up a node runtime, and I'm using a MongoDB to store my to-dos within the to-do list. So, of course, that means we're going to need to create a service. We have a way of viewing all the possible, all the available per services within Bluemix in the marketplace, and that is the command CFM or CF Marketplace. However, as you can see, it, it gives you all the information you need, but if you're just browsing for possible services for you to use, I would still recommend the GUI of the website there. But I already know what I want. I want a MongoDB, and as, as I can see, I can see my MongoDB here. To create a service, you're going to need the name of the service that you're using, in this case MongoDB. Then you're going to have to select the plan in which you want to create the service. In this case, it's only one plan available, it's called 100. And then, of course, I'm going to have to name my service. The name in this case, as I have defined it in my manifest file, is to do minus MongoDB. So that is all I need. Let's scroll down here again. And now we're going to create a service. The command to create a service is cf create minus service. You could also just use cs for short. Then we're going to name the service that we want, mongodb in this case, followed by the plan. The plan here is 100. And then I'm going to give my service a name. In this case, it is to do mongo minus db, if I recall correctly. Let's just double check. Yes, it is to do mongo minus db. Now I'm just going to press enter, and as you can see, Bluemix is creating my service for me now in the targeted organization and the space. Perfect. I got the OK for that now. So my service is ready. All I need to do now is push my code up into Bluemix. So let's just find my code. It is on the desktop in a folder here. My manifest file is already there, so now I just need CF push. And it is now referencing the manifest file and doing everything as it should. Okay, and now you can see that my application has started the one instance that I have requested it to start. I can even here see the URL directly for my application. So we're just gonna copy this and try it out. And then we should be up and running with my to-do list. There you can see, that's my team to-do list, which is great. It's working exactly as I wanted to. Creation. Now, I do want to use a different service for this application because the team might be growing a lot in the future. So I want to be able to automatically scale the application 
to its demands, so I want to add auto scaling to my application. There is a service for that in our marketplace as well. Let's just scroll up and have a look. It is called, of course, auto scaling. We can see it here. It's the name of it is auto minus scaling. It has only one plan as well, which is free. That's the name of it, and it is also free. So we're just going to go ahead and create this auto scaling service. This time around, I'll just use the shared version for creating a service of CS. We're referencing our scaling, auto scaling service. We'll select the plan, which was called free. And now I'm going to call this the service in itself uh, to do list scaling. And as you can see, the service is being created. Then we will have just a standalone service that is not bound to any application. So now we're going to go ahead and bind the application. Binding is done very simply. I'm just going to show it to you here. Um, in the command line overview, if we go to the services, services. Here we go. We can see that the way of binding a service to an application is called bind service. And that's all we need here. So we're going to use the short version of it of uh, BS. And if we're not quite sure what it wants, we can also just try it and it will tell us that it's used incorrectly. And then it will tell us the correct syntax of the usage. As we can see, it is CF bind service, then we give the name of the application. In this case, it is called sh to do list to do list 11. And then we give the name of our service instance. In this case, it's to do list scaling. We hit enter. And I spelled sh to do list wrong, which of course happens. So we're just gonna pop this in here sh to do list, and now we should be good to go. Cloud Foundry will now search out my service, it will bind it to the application. But of course, for all effects to take change, I will have to restage the application. So let's just do this real quick cf restage sh to do list 11. It will now restage my application for me. And as soon as that is done, we will then have our application available with auto scaling in Bluemix. As simple as that.